Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below to learn more about designing of automatic sprinter systems. In today's session, we shall discuss the concept of CMDA sprinklers for storage applications and also try to understand the selection of sprinklers for storage application based on CMDA approach. Along with that, we will look at an example in order to calculate the water demand by using CMDA sprinklers. Let us try to understand what exactly is CMDA sprinkler. CMDA stands for Control Mode Density Area and these sprinklers refer to a specific type of sprinkler listed for control of fires in storage application. In other words, as you can see on your screen, it says a type of spray sprinkler intended to provide fire control in storage applications using the design density area criteria described in NFPA 13 standard. You can refer to chapter number 21 in NFPA 13 2019 edition for more details. Now let us see an example in order to calculate the water demand. Once again I repeat CMD sprinklers are used to control the fires in storage applications. As you can see the example in which it says the type of facility is storage warehouse and the type of saline sprinkler is CMDA type, commodity classification class 4 and the storage type is palletized storage the height of the storage is 30 feet and the height of the ceiling is 35 feet and the type of system is wet type once we get all these details we can calculate the water demand requirement so in cmda approach we need to calculate the density and area so based on this graph, initially we will identify the density since we have class 4 commodity. So from this graph, it is 0 0.3 GPM per square feet density and 2000 square feet area of sprinkler operation. So from this graph, we have identified the density and area, but please note that this figure is with ceiling height of 20 feet storage height. We need to adjust density as per actual height of storage which is 30 feet. This we shall discuss in next slide. So we determine the density and area from this curve for class 4 commodity that is 0 0.3 GPM per square feet and 2000 square feet area of sprinkler operation. Now we will adjust the density by using this figure 21.2.2.3. On x axis it shows storage height in feet and on y axis it shows percent of design curve density. So we will adjust the density. I will just show it to you. Here as you can see our storage height is 30 feet. So just I will mark it. 30 feet and this graph shows the point here. So if you go like this it will be about 190 percentage. It represents just a minute. It represents 190 percentage. So our actual density will be actual density will be 0 0.3 GPM per square feet multiplied by 190 percent. So for our storage at 30 feet this will be the Actual so 0 0.3 into 190 percent 
which will comes around 0.57 GPM per square feet. So in this way, we need to adjust our density. Now we shall move into next slide for calculating the water demand. So we already determined the actual density based on the storage height and we know the area of sprinkler operation that is 2000 square feet from the previous slide. So now we shall try to calculate the host stream allowance and water supply duration. So from this table 20.12.2.6 which you can find in NFPA 13 2019 edition we will calculate the host stream allowance as we have class 4 commodity and we are using CMDA approach and CMDA sprinklers. So our area of sprinkler operation is 2000 square feet. So the required host stream allowance will be 500 GPM and the water supply duration will be 120 minutes. See as per NFPA 13 chapter 21 and section 21.1.4 it says if our design density is greater than 0.34 GPM per square feet so in our case it is 0.57 GPM per square feet so we have to use the standard response spray sprinklers with a K factor of 11.2 or larger that are listed for storage applications. So based on our scenario, we need to go ahead with K11.2 or the higher K factor. So this will be the final slide in which we will mention all the data which we already calculated. So just I'll mention here on you can see on screen. So Q will be area multiply by density. So area we already know 2000 square feet and density is 0 0.57 adjusted as per the storage height 30 feet which will be about 1140 GPM. So 1140 GPM will be Q but we need to add host stream allowance as well for the actual or total flow or total water demand. So 1140 GPM plus 500 GPM. It will come around 1640 GPM. So our flow will be 1640 and the water required will be for 120 minutes duration. So now the water quantity will be 1640 multiply by 120 minutes. So water required will be 196,800 gallons. So one more thing, area of one sprinkler as per NFPA 13 for CMDA sprinklers, it will be about 100 square feet. So based on this, since the total area of sprinkler operation is 2000 divided by area of one sprinkler so which will be about 20 sprinklers so we need to use 20 sprinklers per 2000 square feet area of sprinkler operation therefore from each sprinkler we don't have space here so I am just writing above. For 
is sprinkler since the sprinkler demand is 1140 GPM. So 1140 GPM divided by 20 number of sprinklers that will come about 57 GPM. It means from each sprinkler the flow will be minimum 57 GPM. So now if we consider K factor as 11.2 as we already seen in our previous slide then based on q is equal to k root p formula we can calculate pressure since q from one sprinkler it is 57 gpm and we have k 11.2 so this will be 57 gpm and k will be 11.2 we consider then the P will be about 25.9 PSI. In case if we use, you know, K factor as 16.8, which is higher than 11.2 and that can be used. So based on that, the pressure will be from one sprinklers is 11.51. PSI. So I hope you understand the concept of CMDS sprinklers and how to calculate the water demand requirement. In short, we need to calculate the flow based on area and density. The density will be based on the actual storage height and once you get the total flow we need to add the hose allowance so we will get the you know demand so it will be 1640 gpm in our case so based on this for 120 minute duration the water required shall be 196800 gallons once we calculate all these things we can Calculate the number of sprinklers based on the 100 square feet, you know, per sprinkler as per NFPA 13. So, one area of one sprinkler shall be 100 square feet. So, 2000 square feet divided by 100, which will come about 20 sprinklers. So, from each sprinkler, we will get 57 GPM. Once we get the flow from one sprinkler we can calculate the pressure based on the k factor 11.2 or considering 16.8 in next class we shall go through cms sprinklers and also calculate the water demand requirement if we consider cms sprinklers thank you Thank you very much for supporting my channel. So make sure to subscribe Irfan CFPS and click on the notification icons to get more updates about my videos. Thank you once again. Bye.